Hey guys, as per your request, I have done a tutorial on my wash and go or wash and curl define style. We have lots of definition, lots of movement, which is exactly what we like. And I break the rules or the known rules of a wash and go. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to start by applying clay. I apply Rasool clay. I have a video for this, which I will leave in the link down below. But I just spray my hair with water and apply the clay and this is honestly, I think, the crucial step because as you notice on all hair types, when you apply clay, it clumps your coils and strands together and this is what's going to emphasize whatever pattern you have and make the curls seem a lot larger. So I just apply the clay and smooth that on carefully and it is here that I will do any finger detangling if necessary. The clay is also really good at adding weight to my hair. Once that's done, I will leave that on my hair for about 20 to 30 minutes. I will then go ahead and rinse it out. And as you can see, I'm kind of trying to rinse it in a downward motion, just really smoothing the hair. I'm not pulling the hair up. I'm not scrubbing my hair. I'm just rinsing to really help keep those coils and preserve that pattern and that weight that the clay has added. So straight out of the shower I apply a t-shirt and that will soak up most of the excess water. As you can see it's nice and defined and this is your wash and go. So if you like this just add some oil and go. But I won't be going because my hair shrinks up and it will continue to shrink. So we want to stretch it out. So we're going to add quite a lot of steps. We're going to start with the boot for made conditioner. Slather a generous amount of that all over your hair. And don't be afraid to get more if necessary. You really want to make sure that the coils remain defined, so add loads of conditioner. Go ahead and add some avocado oil to seal that moisture in. I chose that over coconut so it doesn't solidify and add any extra flakes, but you can use any oil of your choice. And we're just gonna break the rules even further. This idea of not touching the hair, cannot do it. So I'm going to separate my hair into workable sized sections. And once I'm done, I will have about six sections to work with. So starting with the back, I'm adding Boucrimé's Curl Cream. Again, a generous amount because we really want to stretch the hair back out and add weight to it. So then I apply it in the prayer hands method, smoothing the cuticle, not roughing it up, keeping that definition, minimizing frizz. Then I'm gonna go in with the Boucrimé Curl Defining Gel. Same thing, prayer hands method, smoothing that through. That pulls it down, adds the weight, clumps my coils together even further. Then the pièce de résistance. We are going to add Crown Pride Naturals Curl Control Styling Puree. You can see this is really thick, heavy duty gel, and that's really what's going to help my coils stay weighted and stay clumped. So you can already see it's coming down. You can air dry if you want, but I'm going to stretch out even further. That's the only reason I kept this blow dryer. I'm using it on a medium speed and medium heat with a diffuser attachment. Holding the hair taut, I'm just working mainly at the root of the hair. And every so often I will let it go because I'm not trying to do the tension method and straighten my hair. So I'm letting it go to re-encourage the curls but for the most part, I'm pulling it taut to stretch it. I'm holding it just at the end, so those coils right towards the end of my hair will stay really nice and defined, and the ones towards my roots are going to be a lot more stretched. And this is what it'll look like when it's dry, really nice and defined, but still soft and weighted. We're gonna do the same thing again. So add that curl cream, prayer hands method. Boucrimé gel, prayer hands method. Crown Pride Naturals styling puree. You see how thick and heavy that is. Prayer hands method to really smooth everything down. 
and then it's your choice whether you air dry but I'm going to diffuse. When I get to the top of my hair that section is quite short so I prefer to manipulate it into a sort of fringe and I do so by diffusing it against my forehead. So I just keep manipulating until it's the shape that I want it to be and the stretch that I want it to have and I have a nice little fringe at the front. So once I'm done, it'll look like this, really nice and defined. I can continue to pick and fluff and stretch until it's my desired shape and I'm satisfied. So this is how I get a wash and go. Uh, I will say I have a bit of residue here on my fringe and that is definitely because I didn't smooth it through properly. So I highly recommend that you really do give a good smooth before you start drying it. If you are watching this and you do not like wash and goes, because I admit they are tedious, I much prefer doing a braid out. Uh, don't feel like you have to do a wash and go. It doesn't make you any more or less natural. And if your hair doesn't curl or coil or anything like that, it does not matter as long as your hair is healthy who cares right but I tried so many different methods that either resulted in complete failure or lots of frizz or a bit of definition but would shrink and ruin at the end of the day and this is just how I have finally figured it out for me but if you do try it please do let me know drop me an image on Twitter or Instagram or wherever else you can find me tag me and let me know how you guys get on thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next video bye